Hey, what's up, guys? This is Coach Ben from Soccer Entrepreneur, and in today's uh, podcast, I'm going to be talking about three tips to creating a six-figure soccer training business. Now, when I talk about this, um, and the reason why I'm creating this video is because I've had uh, a lot of coaches who've asked me how to make more money uh, with their soccer training business, and before I really dig into that, everything that I'm going to be talking about here, it all comes down to the value that you provide. So if you provide a ton of value to kids in your community, I feel like it's very simple uh, to create something that's going to generate six figures uh, if you have these three things down to a T that I'm going to dig into right now. So remember, this all comes down to value. If you're just here trying to make money and that's what your mindset is, it's not going to work out. And how do I know that? It's because I've seen so many people, so many trainers in my city come and go over the last decade. Um, they're not here for the long term. They're not genuinely trying to help kids. And if that's your mindset, this video won't be for you. But if you are genuinely out to help kids and you want to build a business that's based around that passion of helping kids and, and coaching kids in soccer, everything I'm about to share with you, it is going to work. And it's not going to happen overnight. Uh, but over a period of time, if you do things the right way, and like I said, if you're genuine about helping this is all possible. And it's not only just possible for me, but it's been possible for a lot of the, the coaches who I'm personally helping right now. So the three things that you need to really have dialed in, number one, is you need to have well-designed programs. So what I mean by that is you need to have things set up where parents are committed to your program for long periods of time. And you need to have programs set up to where kids are being engaged in your session. They want to come back. Like it's a fun thing for them. So this way, every time they leave a session, they can't wait to come back and see you the next week. And if you don't create your program like that, then there's always going to be drop off and there's always going to be kids that come one week and then they leave. And then you have to recycle and you have to find new players in your program. And you're constantly having to market yourself when you do that, which I feel like Long term is very hard to do. You have to really hustle really, really hard if you're going to go that route. So you want to have a well-designed program that draws players back. It's fun. It's something that obviously players are getting results. That's something that is very key. If players are getting better and better and you have a lot of testimonials, that those types of things, that social proof is going to represent your business for future clients. This way, um, future clients like parents who are looking to join your program, they can see, oh, wow, these players got into college. They got scholarships. Or, wow, these players got into club soccer. The more social proof you have, um, that's going to really just tell me that you have good programs, right? So that's number one. You have to have good programs. Number two is you have to have well-designed pricing, right? So I'll just give you a very easy example to think of. A lot of coaches, and myself included, at the beginning, I, I did things for free. And then once I got a little bit of confidence, I started charging $15 for 90-minute sessions, which a lot of people who listen to these podcasts or they watch these videos, they think that is like ludicrous, like that's way too cheap. And it was, but I didn't really understand pricing. I didn't understand what my value was um, until a few years after that, until I started training like hundreds of kids, I started realizing, man, my time is very valuable. I need to raise the value of my program, but I need to adjust my pricing. And that is something a lot of coaches don't do. They're, they just get stuck on charging $50 a session, uh, and they do that for years. And they're not willing to raise their pricing because what they don't do is they don't increase their value, right? So you want to increase the value of your programs before you ever raise your pricing. But if you have well-designed pricing, then it just comes down to simple math. And let's say you know, if you want to make $10,000 a month, then we need to have programs structured to where we know the exact amount of players need to be signed up in order to make it there, right? And there's two ways to run this business. And from my experience, I've done it both ways. And I've coached uh, and I've consulted with coaches who have done it both ways as well, is you can either be the grinder on the field and you can work 30 to 40 sessions a week, which some coaches would love to be doing that right now. They would love to have that many clients. And that's cool. If that's you, like, there's, there's space for you. There's space for you to do that. Um, you can work that hard. But over a period of time, that gets very draining. And a lot of times what happens is people get burned out. And that happened to me. Um, I know 
three and a half years ago, that happened to me. I was training uh, 37 sessions every week. Uh, and in the summer, I would train even more. And I got to the point where I was like, man, like, you know, the money, the finances, all that's good. But I wasn't hyped up going to all my sessions anymore. I started to get burned out. And I started to realize, man, my pricing is that there's a flaw. Like I needed, I needed to change something. Otherwise, I was going to continue working out the fields 30 to 40 hours a week, which long term is not sustainable, right? So once I started to adjust my pricing, I started to look at, okay, what is the amount of money that I want to come in that's going to complement my lifestyle, right? And I started to write everything out and I started to be like, all right, well, how do I want to set up these programs and what programs do I want to offer? So then, you know, I started to map that out and then I started to put price tags behind that. And then from there, it's very easy for me to sell something to parents and to know like what I need to come in for the next month based on the amount of players that I need, right? And that's all based around the pricing. So if I had the pricing down, then I know there, like I can choose option B, which is work less and profit more, right? Which is what most trainers don't end up doing. They, they charge $50 an hour or $80 an hour and they go out to the fields week after week or day after day. They're, they're out there grinding on the fields. I choose to do option B, which is the smarter option, which is work less, change your pricing, charge more, give more value, like separate yourself from all of your competitors, give 10 times more value than everybody else. And that way you can justify your pricing, right? And remember, if you're doing private training or group training, you don't have to train everybody in your city. And a lot of people want to have that mindset where they have to train everybody, but you don't have to train everybody. Um, you can have a very exclusive program and that's how I have built my program. And that way you can really adjust your pricing as you get more clients, as you get more in demand, these are things that you need to do. All right. So that's number two. Number three is you need a well-designed system to bring in players, right? So this is just all about marketing. And fortunately for me, I've studied marketing for the last 10 years. Um, before I started my business, I didn't know anything about it. But now I know I have a great marketing system that allows me every week to get new players. If I want to bring new players, I just turn my marketing on. I send out emails. I hit the phones. I know how to talk to parents. I know how to get myself in front of a high volume of, of buyers, of parents uh, who have kids that would be the right fit for my program. So once I know how to do that, then I just rely on that system, right? And all three of these things, as far as having a well-designed program, well-designed pricing, and well-designed well -designed systems to bring new players in month after month, that's going to allow you to grow your business um, and compound the, the amount of players that are in your program. And you can expect to do that. And that's really the whole point of why I started my soccer business mastermind is to help coaches in those three areas. And this way, they're constantly and consistently growing their business, right? Through simple methods that I've already proven to work. Um, the other coaches I'm helping right now, they're proving uh, to make that work as well. Um, and that's why you can just follow a system and literally copy and paste it. So if you are interested in applying for my soccer business mastermind, I only work with 10 coaches per month. Um, it's a very exclusive program. Right now we have hundreds of coaches on my email newsletter who have been interested in it, but I have an application process. So if you're interested, simply all you need to do is to, if you want to apply, is go to my website. Just go to soccerentrepreneur.com. Um, you're going to see a link below this video um, or in the podcast, and that's going to you know, show you the link there. You can click on that. And at the bottom of the page, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, it'll say Soccer Business Mastermind, apply here. And there's an information page there. It'll walk you through everything that's included. It is my highest level program where I can personally help you with your business uh, either over the next six months or the next year. I highly recommend if you're serious about building your business, you go check that out. Um, and if it's the right fit, we'll move forward. If it's not, no worries. Um, I want you to go check it out though if you're serious about building your soccer business. So that's it, guys. Thanks again uh, for watching the video and listening to the podcast. Um, I appreciate your time, and I look forward to helping you out. I'll see you later.